going on family? Welcome back. It's Marquis serving the Vegan Newt. Today we're going to talk about deep breathing and why it's important that you inhale and exhale deep every single day. So deep breathing, also known as diaphragmatic breathing or pace respiration or belly breathing or abdominal breathing has many benefits for your body. More specifically, it restores and fills your lungs up to its fullest capability with oxygen, one of the most important uh, elements that your body needs. So the issue with this is, more specifically, Americans, we breathe shallow. We have shallow breathing. We do not fill our lungs up to its fullest capability with oxygen. And what that look like is we just take short breath, and that's it. We're not giving our body as much oxygen as it can possibly take in, or we're not filling our lungs up, the lower region to be most exact, to uh, its fullest capacity with oxygen. And what that look like is taking a deep breath in your nose and out your mouth. And when you're giving your body the proper amount of oxygen that it needs through deep breathing, which also comes in many forms such as meditation as well as yoga, you're restoring a balancing of oxygen throughout your entire body for your blood, for your brain, for cells to grow and develop, and also for your immune system to enhance and get stronger. So, before we get started talking about the many benefits of deep breathing, let's talk about the diaphragm. The diaphragm is this dome-shaped muscle slash tendons that are vital for deep breathing and just vital for breathing, period. Um, in order for you to achieve full deep breathing to fully fill your lungs up to its full capability of oxygen, you must breathe from your diaphragm. So that means breathing from the muscles deep within your core to draw in as much oxygen as possible, taking a strong deep breath, and exhaling and you practice that regularly consistently throughout the day as well as just having designated times where you might find a place to sit down and just breathe deep for five minutes you constantly do that consistently every single day over time you're gonna find that your body is breathing deeply on its own and it begins to become like a second nature so typically the regular way that we breathe is short narrow and shallow and the issue with that is when you're breathing shallow, only the top region of your lungs are being filled up with oxygen. So what that looks like, you're just taking a short breath. And that's typically how majority of us breathe. The issue with that is we're cutting our body oxygen supply off short because we're not filling our lungs up to its full capability with oxygen. And it further leads to short breathness, people that have anxiety, it might make you feel anxious more, make you feel like you're losing your breath more because you're breathing so shallow, which is why they teach methods of meditation to resolve anxiety and depression because the fundamental purpose of meditation is breathing breathing deep breathing slow restoring oxygen back to your blood and to your brain so you can begin to relax calm yourself down it can breathe the same way your lungs breathe and bring your oxygen for you to breathe your, your body and your blood and your brain and your organs and the cells need oxygen in order to breathe and to survive and to grow and to thrive so some benefits of deep breathing, abdominal breathing, are um, reduced stress levels. It balances out your blood pressure as well as um, blood flow, increased blood flow. It also, and surprisingly, what a lot of people don't know, deep breathing, and when you practice in deep breathing meditation, it also massages your organs. I know that sounds pretty weird, but there are many methods uh, to abdominal breathing, and that shows you different techniques that you can breathe in a certain way and maneuver the muscles of your abdomen in order to massage your organs that are located in your abdomen region. Deep breathing also aids in sleep. Before you go to sleep, I recommend you just meditate possibly five, 10 minutes. You can do that, like I said, laying down or sitting up. You can lay down in your bed, close your eyes and meditate. Before you know it, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be knocked out sleeping pretty well. So deep breathing helps solve sleep issues and also allow you to sleep better. Deep breathing also removes toxins from your body. It's another form of detoxing. The way you breathe and how you breathe captures bacteria located in your lungs as well as other toxins that's located in your lungs and blood as well and it exerts it and expels it outwards as you breathe deep and so on. So some basic ways you can practice deep breathing. You can sit in the traditional lotus style position or crisscross applesauce or however you choose to call it position but you want to make sure that your back is straight. So you need to lean up against something that can support your back, that's fine. Uh, if you can't get down on the floor, you can sit in the chair, upright position, and have your back straight. Or you can just lay down flat on your back, whether you're on the floor, on the yoga mat, or on your bed. The goal is just to have your spine erect. Erect just means straight, so you want to just keep it as straight as possible. All right. Once we're in a comfortable position, um, you want to start by just breathing 
in your nose and out your mouth slowly and just gradually breathe slow and deep and you want to keep practicing that over and over and over now there's many techniques to help you go into a deeper state when you're meditating or um, if you're just trying to breathe deep as well so you can count um, you can just focus on just your breathing you can constantly say to yourself in out in out. you can focus on just your breathing and that's the goal focus on just your breathing because once you focus on one thing you're allowing those thoughts that are popping up in your mind to settle down because you're not entertaining that you just focus on one thing your breathing and before you know it you're going to find yourself in a deeper meditation in a deeper state when you're not doing nothing but just breathing deep and just existing in that point you're not thinking about all the distractions you just focus on one thing only and that's just breathing vital and most important function of life so like I said there are many forms that come with deep breathing you can practice it through your yoga you can practice it through your meditation you can practice it walking through the park or on your way to class or on your way to work before you go to work take five good deep breaths take deep breaths before you make a big decision if you're angry anxious frustrated take a minute for yourself breathe deep It'll help you channel your focus, concentrate, improve your memory, and also improve your mood at the same time. So, I appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Press that button below, right now, below. I'm about to get some meditation on. I appreciate all y'all watching this episode. Make sure you tune in for next week's episodes. Marquise Irvin, The Vegan Newt. I'm out.